Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this crocheted block and it is a daisy block and this is the daisy and I'm going to be showing you in this two-part series first how to make the daisy and then in my second part I'm going to be showing you how to make the outer border. So what you're going to need is a size 5 crochet hook, a big darning needle, scissors and colors of your choice. I'm going to be doing the daisy colors so I have a worsted weight yellow yarn and then I have just some scrap red heart white yarn. You don't need a lot to make one block so this is a good project to make with scraps. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my magic circle and I do have a video showing how to do that and I will link that in the down bar. Okay, so our chain two will count as one double crochet and then we're going to do 11 more. So the double crochet is yarn over, put your hook through the loop, yarn over, come back through the loop, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over, through the last two loops. So yarn over, through the loop, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over, through the last two loops. In UK terms it is called a treble and in US terms it's the double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go ten and eleven. And then we are going to Pinch it up. And then go back. And then you're going to do a simple slip stitch back into your double crochet. And then chain one just to finish it off. And then we're going to cut that off. So here is our daisy center. So now you can start on the petals. And since I'm doing the daisy, I'm going to stick with the white. So I'm going to just grab the yarn and pull it through one of the holes in between a double crochet. Just make a knot. And then put our hook through that hole. Grab the white yarn, bring it back through, and then chain two. One, two. So that is going to count as one double crochet. And then we're going to go back into we're going to go back into the hole. Oops. We're going to go back into that spot. And this is between the 
be between the double crochets. So we're not going to go into the stitch, we're going to go in between. So because I did that chain two and it counts as the first double crochet, now that is going to be three double crochets. And that is my little cluster, which will be the first petal. So then I like to pull it out a little bit, take the hook out, and then go to your first double crochet, which would be the chain two, put your hook through the hole, grab that yarn, and then you're going to bring the yarn through that first double crochet. It takes a little bit to get used to in the beginning. And then you're going to chain two. One, two, and then you're going to move on to your next petal. So that's your first petal. So now we go to the next, in between the next two stitches. Oops. So this is, an, again, double crochets. So through. And then two. I keep getting hooked. No. Again. I like to pull that out, go into the first the stitch of the first double crochet of that cluster, grab the yarn and pull it through. And then chain two. Sorry if I keep moving. <laughs> and then again. Pull it tight so that that petal tapers up the top. Chain two, and then move on to your fourth petal. So as you can see, this is basically how you do one petal, and then you just keep going around until you've done the whole daisy. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to come back when I'm done. Okay, so once you have your at your last petal, then you just do your chain two and then you go to the top of your first petal and then do a slip stitch and then chain one. and then just cut your yarn off. You just wanna Okay, so there is your daisy and you know you've done it correctly when you have six petals on each half. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So total of 12 petals. 
So that's my first part of this tutorial, and I hope you liked it. Um, you don't have to turn this into squares if you wanted to. You could always use it as an applique for, you know, garments or hats or anything like that. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY and anything else I'm doing. You never know what I'm into these days videos. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!